Good Sunday evening, San Antonio. Meteorologist Mia Montgomery here with this weather authority update. If you're stepping out for any of those evening plans, generally the cloud cover is expected to stick with us. Temperatures in the low 50s through dinner time, eventually transitioning to the upper 40s later tonight. Now through the overnight hours, we are expecting an uptick in rain chances. Some scattered showers expected, especially before the sun comes up. And then as we're waking up and stepping out for the Monday morning drive, do know that a few more scattered showers will likely accompany some of us, especially along and east of the I-35 corridor. Now throughout the morning and especially into the early afternoon, the bulk of that rain activity transitions farther off to the east, leading to a drier second half of the day. Temperature wise will start off in the 40s here in San Antonio. Those afternoon highs though across the entirety of the region are going to be very dependent on the cloud cover for we could find some sunshine in our far western counties helping daytime highs top off closer to that 60 degree mark, but here in town, especially points farther off to the east as well, some lingering cloud cover could hold those temperatures to the low to mid 50s by Monday afternoon. Now Tuesday and Wednesday should be fairly quiet. We'll start off in the 40s, afternoon highs in the 50s. Thursday though is when we are still expecting that big Arctic cold front to push into the region, and as it does so, it is going to kick up a gusty north wind as, as well well as send in much colder air just ahead of the holiday weekend, and that will likely stick with us into the holiday weekend as well. A hard freeze still expected by Friday morning as well as Saturday morning. Also on Friday morning with a gusty north wind still around, some wind chills could fall into the single digits in spots there as well. Here in San Antonio, it is still looking like temperatures could climb just a few degrees above that freezing mark. Friday afternoon, thanks to plenty of sunshine, we'll keep eyes on that number there as well. And then into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, still starting off below freezing, but those temperatures should be able to climb into the 40s into the afternoon. So overall, this week is a good time to finish the freeze preparations, especially if you are heading out of town for any Christmas celebrations. Remember the four P's, people, pets, plants, and pipes. We'll continue to keep eyes on that here over the next several days.